The following segment is brought to you by Starkist. Welcome back to Better. We are back over in the kitchen where we are talking tuna. Nutritionist and dietitian Bonnie Tom Dix is here. She's going to show us how to create delicious and healthy tuna dishes that the whole family is going to love. Bonnie, thank you for being with us today. Oh, a pleasure to be here. Why, so why tuna? Why we, I, We're all trying to get a little healthier. We're all trying to get meat out of our diet sometimes. Why is tuna a good solution for that? Well, there are so many benefits to going meatless every now and then, but just because you're going meatless doesn't mean you have to eat like a rabbit. As long as you have good quality sources of protein, almonds, quinoa, fish like tuna right. would be great choices. They're very versatile, they're very easy to use, and of course they're really good for you and in fact even the heart association says you should have tuna fatty fish at least twice a week I know my and I'm, I'm trying to get my kids to eat tuna and to eat fish and so having creative ways to do it is very very important so you've got a lot of good recipes here normally I think of uh, well grab some bread slap the tuna on it you're done but that's not nearly as interesting as some of the stuff you've got for us today yeah you got to think outside the casserole here. okay <laughs> okay so you could really be versatile and swap tuna in recipes wherever you use chicken and meat and other recipes right. at home so take the salad for example you could really boost the value of the salad by adding chickpeas add healthy Healthy fats like avocado, almonds, and you could put uh, Starkist new tuna creations come in these pouches that are so easy to use. All you do is tear it open. Just tear it open. I'm saying I'm used to a little can. No. But you're these, saying can no more, or not, or also in addition well, to the can. Well, you could travel with these. You could right? just bring them and put them in your desk God, at all work. all that protein. 18 grams of protein per serving. That's exactly. so good. Exactly. And one ounce of meat is seven grams of protein. So if this has 18 grams of protein, that's like several just, ounces so, of meat. Do I just sprinkle it on sprinkle here? Sprinkle it right on top. You there, could add some that. dressing. Look at that. And this is really convenient and so easy to tear open. And the other thing is you don't even have to drain it because it's already drained for you. Oh, it's pre-drained. That's yep. nice. So that um, makes it and, really And these easy. stay good, I would imagine, for quite a while in these packets. Yeah, yeah, they do. And this is this happens to be my favorite one, which is lemon pepper. But you could use the hickory smoked. You could use the garlic and herb. Depends on the dish you're making. You may want to swap it out. Lots of drums. So we've got this great salad. It's got the avocado and the tuna and the beans. What else can we do? Okay, so this is minestrone. I call this my super soup because it has so many good ingredients in it. You have healthy vegetables. There's actually a pouch of the Starkist Flavor Fresh pouch. And what you can do is just add a little bit of Parmesan cheese yeah. to boost protein add, a little add more further. Than that. No, I'm Italian, you gotta add more than that. Right. There you go, like very too, nice. Actually. Oh, that's that good, good stuff. Yeah, it's good. I knew that was the kind you like. Okay, perfect. And so there you have some soup, which could and stand that's good. alone. Especially here, like in these winter months, like having a good hearty soup to go oh, to. Oh, yeah. So and you delicious. could really cut calories by having soup, too, because it really is like a speed bump to a meal, takes yeah. the edge off of your meal. It's a good standalone as a lunch or pair it with a salad for dinner. Very good. So we've got our salad, we've got our soup, and here's our, this is a nice little entree. What are we doing here? Italian pasta. Of course, we got it. How can you, how can you go wrong with right. Italian? So what you could do is make it healthier by having whole wheat pasta. Right. And then you could add that. But all you have to do is saute some onion and garlic. Add a little bit of um, some tomatoes to it, add a pouch of tuna, and then just toss it together, and voila, you have a really perfect dinner. I like it. When I think about all the, the you know, I love my grandma's meatballs. Grandma, don't be mad at me. But when I think about all the fat that goes into the meatballs, you know, it's, it's, you get the protein, but you also get a lot of fat with it. The tuna is nice because you don't get all that fat. Yes, and then you have the heart-healthy value of tuna and fish in general because it's low in saturated fat. It's low in cholesterol. It's very high in protein and really convenient. It is. It's convenient and delicious. And is, uh, is that it? Are we wrapped up on our recipes here? Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, we could make a ton of other recipes. Yeah, no, these are just ideas. That's all we have time for today. Just <laughs> ideas to get you started. Bonnie, thank you so much for a being pleasure. with us. pleasure. Thank you. Really good to be here. Uh, you can get all of these recipes and, and other great ideas, just like Bonnie was saying, by going to starkist.com. So make sure that you do that and check it out. And also, if you're obsessed with Twitter like I am, I you am could also well. go to at Starkist Charlie and find them on Twitter, or you could be a fan on Facebook. Charlie the Tuna is tweeting. You've got to hear what he has to say. All right, coming up next, Bonnie, thank you so much. Thank We're you. going to take a little bit of a walk on the wild side of Fashion Week.